Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's video we're going to replicate our doors and drawers and all this system. It's actually pretty simple, it's going to be a short tutorial, but by the end of it you can see, everybody can see the doors getting opened and closed and can walk through those. Let's go! So the first thing that we got to make sure of is that all of our actors and components are fully replicated. So let's first let's go to our doors. Let's open those up, let's select the class defaults and let's make sure we replicate the movement and we replicate the actor itself as well. So this check right here and also we need to replicate the static mesh components. So select your component, scroll down the details panel almost till the very bottom and here is the component replication and make sure you check that one as well. And that's basically all we need to do in this component, uh, the actor actually. So then we need to go to the cabinet and do exactly the same thing, class defaults replicate the movement, replicate the actor itself and replicate all the moving static meshes. We don't need to replicate the, uh, the one that is going to stand, stand still, we need to replicate the ones that are actually going to move. So you can select all of those, scroll down and check this component replicates. And that's basically all we got to do in this actor, uh, well in these two actors. Then one more thing that we need to change is in our door master, what we want to make sure of is that our open door event uh, is actually ran on server so that the server would do this task. Now once we have replicated the event itself let's make sure we replicate the variables as well. So let's replicate the doors variable, door direction variable and the is opening variable as well just to make sure so that everything is replicated properly. Go to your class defaults, replicate the actor itself as well and replicate the movement as well. Just to be safe it's better to replicate all the things what we also need to replicate is our timelines, so make sure you open up your timelines and check this replicated. And do the same thing for the drawer one as well, make sure both of these are replicated. So that's all good for this one and the last location where we should go to is our first person character, well in my case the first person you might have a different character, and here we have our open something interface uh, which is ran locally and that's not what we want. What we want to do instead is create two new custom events. Let's call this server open door. Let's make sure that this is ran server and then we need another one. We need a, another custom event which is then multi open door event and this one needs to be a multicast event. Then what we can do is copy our open something and let's plug in the execution and let's plug in both of these inputs as well. So the target and the component. There we go. So for the target I'm actually going to rename this to be the, let's call this actor so that we don't get confused because we're going to have a target uh, for this event itself. So if we would now try to launch our multi open door you can see it has a an actor by uh, the target by default and that is uh, where the this multi open door f event is actually located so make sure to plug in the actor and component and this should be all good so run on server and a multicast event which then runs our open something and now instead of opening something on the false route we should server open door and replug your target to the actor and component to the component and we can remove this open something. So it is as simple as that. that. That's basically all that there should be to it. So we can now compile and save this and now let's give it a try. So we need to make sure that this is, let's make three characters, uh, play as list and server and let's click play. So the character meshes themselves are not fully replicated in this specific template, you can't see the hands, but well this system itself is fully replicated, we can walk through the doors, everybody can see them getting opened, we can close them, um, and basically everything is working. So that's, that's pretty much it for this series, I'm gonna have a, another extra video to just show you how to implement this, this system into my inventory system series so that you could use an item uh, for the keys, and yeah, that's pretty much it, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something new, and see you in the next one.